This is a video that we've wanted to do for a long time, and I feel it's what separates our toy hauler from so many other ones out there. And it's uh, what happens when we have people come for plant tours, they have the chance to see how our frame is built. It's even hard to see that on a dealer's lot or to show, but what we want to do is show you where this thing starts, how it's welded together, and just see what separates it from the competition. So we want to show you a little bit about our weld tables. Uh, particularly on our subframe, we use a fixed modular weld table. And the beauty of that is we have these pegs that's all engineered and designed in. We can set these in location per model. So it really saves a lot of time for the guys. They're not measuring with a tape measure, that kind of thing that would slow them down, but also makes it very accurate and precise. This, this table has the ability to be perfectly leveled. And our, our biggest thing that we want to do in this point is make sure we have a very square frame. Um, aluminum can be tricky when you weld it, heats up, expands, and so if you don't have the right table, um, it's, it's not going to start out right. So we spend a lot of money, have a very precision built uh, weld table, and that allows us to have the best subframe you can get. One of the big things we do is on the tongue, we use a 2x8 double hollow aluminum tube tongue. It's a little bit of overkill, but it, it ensures us to have a super rugged tongue. It allows us to have a nice storage compartment where uh, you can put gas cans or whatever. It also becomes a great place for us to put a generator if you get the gen package. Um, by having that 2x8 tongue, it, uh, it again allows us a lot of storage, but it gives us such rigidity and strength. Um, we have an extra long tongue so you can turn sharper, but all of that is integrated and welded right into the main rails. A lot of companies will just set something underneath the, the aluminum tube. You can see if when you get a top shot here, it's all integrated and welded in directly into the main rails and tied into one solid unit. Um, as you walk back, this, keep in mind this is upside down. Everything starts up to, upside down on the subframe. Um, on this model in particular, it's our 28 footer. It's our longest bumper pull. It's going to have a two by seven double hollow again. So it has a piece in the middle that is the, the full perimeter frame. A lot of companies will have a main rail just inside of the wheel wells and then they use outriggers to kind of support the, the side walls. We'll actually use that tube out to the end. It's kind of the same idea if you have to hold something up, it's hard to keep that from flexing and going up and down. We put the full perimeter frame right to the, the very width of the trailer, so now those walls are resting on its shoulders of the subframe. Um, all of the cross members are tube as well, and that pretty much sums up what you're going to see in this uh, aluminum subframe. One of the things we want to make sure you know is there's absolutely no wood in our toy haulers. We're where it becomes a problem in a lot of our competitors' toy haulers is they'll use wood for the subfloor. Uh, they'll place that wood on top of their steel frame. The, the problem with that is if water gets in there, it can get damaged, it can get spongy. It's not something that's going to last you a lifetime. What we use is an extruded piece of aluminum. These pieces are the full length of the trailer. We have them specially designed where they interlock in with each other and that is uh, kind of screwed and welded to the aluminum subframe so there's absolutely no wood in the subframe and this stuff is so tough you can drive cars over it kind of whatever you want when the piece is completely the length it interlocks into each other and creates one solid floor across the entire uh, subframe all right we've built the walls we've squared them up onto the subframe and we have a full 360 degree welded trailer so many of our competitors, like we mentioned earlier, they'll use a steel subframe that they buy from a frame manufacturer. They'll have some laminated, laminated walls. It might have some aluminum tube in them. And then what they do is they actually um, bolt that wall to the subframe. If you look in close, you'll take a look at ours. This thing is completely welded all the way around. The roof members are welded to the, sub, the walls. The walls are welded to the subframe. And it makes it such a stout, uh, such a stout frame. We, we kind of come from the opposite end of the typical RV guys where they're used to uh, building RVs with a, a lush, comfortable living quarters and then they tried to figure out how to put a toy in it. ATC has built trailers for years and years, about 17 now, that put toys in them and now we're putting a living quarters in it. So we know how to do the frame, we know how to make it super strong and be the best, most dependable toy hauler you can buy. When we decided to launch the toy hauler line, we started touring some RV dealers out there. And as we took our demo around, started talking to the technicians, the service RVs, one of the big questions is how do you repair your roof? How do you service it? 
And it was a question that kind of was strange to me because I was born and raised on ATC trailers. We've built race trailers for 17 years. And I never really had dealers ask that question. And so what we came to discover is we build our roofs much different than the typical RV. Almost all RVs use a rubber kind of vinyl coating that you need to patch every three to four years because it expands and contracts, the seals break. Um, the, the other issue is that trees can poke through it, um, there's damage. And if the water roof leaks, now you have a, um, a big problem with potential damage inside your RV. The beauty of ours, there's no wood inside. Our roofs are made out of aluminum. It's a solid sheet of aluminum. This coil here is the actual roof material that our, our roof is made out of. This cart will slide over, be pulled over the whole length of the trailer here. It's actually wider than the trailer, so it's bent over on the sides, over at the rear and the front, and then it's glued to each one of the roof bows. Um, we'll put a nice piece of trim on it so you don't see that, but the beauty is it's a solid one-piece aluminum roof that's not gonna have to be repaired. It's not gonna have to have uh, seals and caulks re redone. It's a, it's a really a lifetime kind of roof. So hope you enjoy it. It's something that sets us apart from everybody else.